Hello everyone, hope you are doing great. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to discuss about a sector which have almost bottomed out and it is ready to make its next up move. Just in case if you are new to this channel and if you are watching me for the first time, my name is Manoj and you are watching Trend Following. Yesterday, I made a video where I actually uh, gave up all my portfolio and its positions for the sake of the subscribers so that some of them can benefit looking at it. This is the actual um, sheet that has been uploaded into the Google Drive and I will try to update my holdings as and when I do some buying and selling. The portfolio is of size 2.25 crores. I will leave the link in the description. The best thing about this Excel sheet is it will be updated on a regular basis. So just in case if you want to uh, mimic my performance or do whatever I do in the market, you can have this Excel sheet as a reference but keep in mind I am not SEBI registered. This is only for your benefit to understand what my thought process is beyond my buying. Alright, so let's get started with the video. First of all, I want to inform my subscribers that I was uh, supposed to skip today's video because I was like very tired, traveling, traveling, traveling all throughout the weekend, driving all night just to see some northern lights which is called as Aurora. This is one of the pictures which we have taken where we have went to see the northern lights and the other picture was this where we were traveling in the car to that place and uh, already the lights were there. Still we were able to click the shot even though there is so much of light pollution on the road. Okay, So that is why I wanted to skip the video today, I was really tired but still I thought that um, the index was really at the bottom. Even one or two days the index might move up one or two percent and you could make a lot of money. So that is the purpose where um, I thought okay let's do the video today so that if even if one of the subscribers make some money out of it, I will be happy about it. Alright, so now let's get started. Now coming back to the video, obviously the index is IT index and the video is segregated into three portions. The first portion, what to see in the chart, how to read the chart, I am going to explain all of the index weights and explain you bit by bit, detail by detail why it has been bottomed out. Number two, if you are an option trader, how to take advantage of the situation. In case, I mean like when I say option, it covers both options or futures. Number three, if you are not fitting into the second portion, the third portion is I have three companies in the IT space which I feel is going to be a potential multi-bagger into the next three to five years. When I say multi-baggers, they can make the same thing what persistent have made in the last few years. This is the persistent daily chart, right? If you look at it, 2020 during COVID, it was only 250 rupees. Now it is selling at 4000, which means the stock has made 15x. Similar kind of returns I am expecting in the three stocks that I am going to discuss at the end of the video. So watch the video from the end to end because there are a lot of things that you can learn for free. This one video can help you make a lot of money. Okay, That is the amount of information that I have embedded into this video. Now this is a index, nifty index. Who are all the constituents of this index? This is the constituent. I am surprised that INFI has more weightage than TCS. INFI has 26%. TCS is 25.76, the next IS is TechM, the next IS is HCL Tech, followed by Wipro, LTIM, Persistent, Coforge, Emphasis and LTS. These 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 companies makes up the index, which I have actually added in the watch list. Now let's go one by one. Let's take Infi for example, which is the highest contributor to the Nifty index. Let's see the chart. All right. So this is the daily chart. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add only one indicator here which is called as the volume profile. This says where the maximum amount of stocks have been traded over a period of time. If you look at the volume profile, it is already sitting at the support zone. If you look at this, see this, the maximum number of shares has been traded over this range which is the comfortable zone for INFI. Whenever INFI falls to that area, it is always comfortable, it finds some support or it finds some resistance. That is the reason why you see maximum number of shares has been traded into that range. Now going into the daily chart, if you look at the daily chart, let me... Uh, now look at this chart, this is the last one month trading candlestick patterns of Nifty. This candlestick is nothing but the dragonfly dodgy. Dragonfly dodgy always happens when the stock hits the bottom. Let, let me uh, search for you in the Google search dragonfly dodgy pattern all right you can see that whenever any any instrument that actually bottoms out 
will bottom out most likely on a dragonfly dodgy see this this is dragonfly dodgy okay it formed dragonfly dodgy it went up straight and then let's take some other example see this is the dragonfly dodgy it formed dragonfly dodgy it went up take this dragonfly dodgy it went up take this dragonfly dodgy it went up then take this dragonfly dodgy it went up it says that if you look at it closely if you already have some amount of candlestick knowledge it says that the bears are trying to take control push the stock at one point the bear exhaustion has happened and the bulls are taking it over dragonfly rg is a very powerful pattern when combined with moving averages okay if you take dragonfly dodgy which forms at a moving average okay it is called as pin bar pin bar is the most powerful strategy in all of universe it always always gives you good amount of profits okay i'll i'll put a separate video for pin bar but for now all you need to know is this is the dragonfly dodgy it has formed a pin bar pin bar forms at the emas which is nothing but 50 or 200 this is the first one what is the next biggest constituent in nifty index it's tcs now let's see the tcs chart tcs chart also it's kind of dragonfly dodgy why let me tell you this is not visible to armature traders only advanced traders know this strategy so i'm going to explain you this today take these two candles for example okay what happened market opened here it went to high it came down okay it closed it had a small low this candlestick i'm talking about all right so this is a red candle it opened here it closed here and then it happened like this the next day this candle what happened it opened here and then it started to go up now all you have to think about is let's take these two candles as one candle okay let's not consider as two candles now if you consider both these candles as one candle how the candle will structure it opened here came down the first half of the candle then it opened here it went up now what happened it formed a dragonfly dodgy okay now i think you are able to follow again i'll explain watch out it opened here came down this is day number one day number two it opened here went up closed here so both put together if you club both the candlesticks together it has formed a wick it has formed a small high it has closed the bs tried to take the control could not the bulls took the control made the stock to go up this is a similar pattern to what we see in the infosys again a dragonfly dodgy that if that happens on the moving average it is called as pin bar pattern very very powerful this is the only pattern that you will need to know in order to make money in the stock market if you are using only the candlestick pattern pin bar right what is the next highest constituent it is techm now let's go to techm chart see two dragonfly dodges in a row which means that two days continuously bears are trying to take the control but they are not able to bulls are taking it over it's a matter of time that they will push it let me just zoom out so that you will understand in a bigger perspective candlestick patterns in simple terms is very easy to understand but the problem lies in the fact that even though there is no patterns at all your brain tries to find some patterns that is where people will go wrong if there is a pattern there is a pattern if the pattern does not exist don't push yourself to find some pattern that is where you will lose a lot of money okay so this is the third one what are the next highest constituent hcl tech let's see hcl tech hcl tech hcl tech okay see this two dragonfly dodges two weeks this is called as a week and two days it's trying to consolidate around the range where it has already formed a support previously okay so if you look at this it has formed a support it has taken the resistance on the same side so 13 10 13 15 is the strongest support for hcl it could easily move up now what are the next one we have it is the wipro if you look at wipro wipro again a pin bar the reason why i'm saying this as a pin bar is because there is a moving average like this right the moving average goes up and it comes down it phase off it comes back to the candlestick the candlestick has exactly formed the moving average i don't know i'm just um, assuming that's a 50 moving average it has put a pin bar 
it has formed a trial fed OG, it is ready to move up. The next resistance zone it will try to find is this area 480. So if you have Wipro, you can be happy, but don't wait for too long because the more you wait in Wipro, the other stocks are going to go up. Okay, so that is where you have to be careful. Opportunity cost of money. The next one is that LTIM. So this is the LTIM chart. If you look at the chart, it has not formed the dragonfly dodgy, but it is trying to form the bottom, right? That is very important. In a day or two, it will confirm the bottom. So you can trade accordingly if you are planning to trade LTIM. Okay. And then what is the next one? The persistent. Look at this. This is a persistent chart. Simple, simple things will make a lot of money in the market if you don't try to stress yourself. Two weeks in a row which means stock has clearly bottomed out. Bears trying to push it, but bulls are taking the control. What is going to happen? It is going to form a resistant around this zone, which is 3,600. So do I trade this stock? I already have a position. This is my position. Do I trade persistent? Of course, I already have positions. I have five lots in 3,400 PE. I have five lots in 3,500 PE. I have one lot in 3,300 PE. Most of it is in profit. If persistent goes up, then I'll make a lot of money. All I need persistent to close is more than 3,500 by the end of May series. And that will be, this is 1.5 lakh, this is 1.2 lakh, and this is like 20,000 rupees. So altogether I'll make three lakhs in persistent. Okay. So that is how I have been trading persistent. The next one is Coforge. Coforge also I have a position if you look at it. Okay. Coforge, take this example, right? This is the similar thing that I told you in TCS these two candles okay opened here came down next day it opened here it went up so what literally happens this is a body this is high this is a wig if you club these two candles that is nothing but dragon plate og it bottomed out now it is going up the next one um, in the index is emphasis emphasis also wick double bottom so this double bottom is not yet confirmed but on the overall picture if you look at the IT index as a whole, almost all the companies have been bottomed out. So this confirms the double bottom has happened. In general case, if you see emphasis opening around this place and in the first one hour, if it doesn't goes up, if it starts to fall, it will continue its downtrend. Okay. In the first hour, if it is not falling too much and if it is holding this range and it's trying to move up, that is where the double bottom is confirmed. Okay, so there are two scenarios that can probably play out in a day or two in emphasis. The next one is LTTS. Uh, LTTS, similar pattern, TCS, just club these two candlesticks. What it will form? It will form a dragonfly dodgy. Very simple and very easy. There is a lot of money to be made. Now let's move on with the second portion of the video. How to make the money? The best way to make the money right now is buying the futures. What I will do, I will buy persistent, I will buy coforge, I will buy LTTS. The reason is because these are all index heavyweights and they will move slowly. Always try to take three companies if you are buying futures. It need not be on the same index, it could be on different index. For example, you could trade this with Kotec Bank, you could trade this with Asian Paints. So you are actually mitigating your risk, right? You are not focusing everything on only the IT index. If you look at my positions, my positions, I have persistent and coforge. Persistent, I think we have already discussed. If you look at uh, coforge, coforge, I have 4,500 P, which means towards the end of May, last Thursday of May, if coforge closes above 4,500, all of this goes to zero. So what I'll make, I'll make about 1.85 lakhs, 1050 into 177 rupees. So it's about 1.85 lakhs. What is the probability of Coforge closing above 4,500? That is very easy, right? We already saw. It already formed a dodgy, dragonfly dodgy, and it's moving up. If you notice that, it is already out of the money. I have 4,500. It's already out of the money, 4,534. So literally speaking, this option that I have right now is worthless, but since we have some time, that is a theta value. Try to sell puts, that will give you the cover. If you are okay to take bigger risk, you can actually trade futures. What are my three um, hotcakes? Persistent, Coforge and LTTS. Okay, so just in case if you are thinking that FNO is not for you and you are not good in trading and all, 
this is where the investment portion of the video comes into picture i have three companies that can give stellar returns as i already mentioned in the beginning of the video the first one is protein technologies i don't want to go into the fundamentals of this company in detail but in short they actually make the infrastructure for the government projects for example kyc insurance and then pan card and then the pension system other authentication even my broker uses protein to do kyc verification so over time what will happen is using this projects they can get more projects from the government and eventually this will be distributed to almost all parts of india where almost 1.3 or 4 billion people have to use the technology this will only help the company grow more and more in the future this is the first one on our list the next one where i feel the multi bagger returns are going to come is k sols india companies again uh, into small cap mid cap space if you look at the market value it is only 1300 crores the company is into strong niche areas like big data salesforce microservices and other devops solutions so this is also a strong area of growth where most of the companies the data is being migrated from old school technologies to the new big data technologies this can be one of the biggest beneficiary into the future the next one on my list where i feel that there's going to be a big run up in the stock prices datamatic global services if you look at their expertise they are mostly into ai anything that is related to ai it is going to have a strong growth into the future and company being a small company they can well grow their earnings at a pace where no other index heavyweight can do it so that is where the biggest returns you will see so this is another company which will actually have a potential impact into the next foreseeable future so in the list the only company that i have as of now is kenny's automation but i will be um, looking to buy but i'll be looking to buy any two companies out of the three that we have just discussed either ksols or datamatics and protein or protein with ksols so make, just to make sure i'm not too exposed to it at the same time i want to take advantage of the good future that these companies already have okay so that's it for this video i hope you enjoy the video make sure to share with your friends so that somebody can benefit by uh, chart reading and make some positions they will definitely make money i'll meet you again thanks bye bye take care